Dinosaurs were superlative animals, and it's really not surprising that paleontologists are continuing to find new ways in which they're record breakers. Now, paleontologist Matt Wadel, uh, in a paper that recently came out, uh, pointed out that some dinosaurs, like the biggest of the sauropods, the biggest of those small-headed, long-necked, heavy-bodied dinosaurs, had some of the longest nerves possibly to have ever existed. Now, uh, think of a dinosaur like Supersaurus, you know, tiny head, long neck, long tail, hefty body, about 110 feet long altogether, 45 feet of which was neck. Now, dinosaurs, much like every other land-dwelling vertebrate today, every descendant of those first little fishapods that crawled out of the swamps, have something called the recurrent laryngeal nerve. And that's a nerve that goes from the brain down around the heart and into the throat. Now, back before these fishapods evolved necks, uh, that didn't really make that much big of a difference. You know, just heart and brain were relatively close together. But as necks evolved and as necks got longer and longer and longer, this nerve had to stretch further and further to make the same journey. So in a dinosaur with a neck, 45 feet long, you have to have 90 feet of nerve in order to make that same journey. And if these dinosaurs had nerve endings at the tips of their tails as well, that's you know a connection that has to go from the brain all the way 110 feet down to the very, very end. So dinosaurs, in terms of their nerves, might have been the biggest record breakers of all time.